am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. No, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. Do people now have motor cars, Father? But I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me to do so. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Howdy! Doodly do! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ginger Ninja Gaming. I'm Ginger Ninja 1251. Also known as Marlo, and welcome to Marlo's Merry Completes. Yeah, it's Christmas time again. Actually, no, for me it's July, but for you it's Christmas time again. And we are in Red Dead Redemption, and we are going to be completing the game for Christmas. Woo! Also, I'm playing on the Xbox One because it works better. Um, yeah, and I've changed the uh, an equal bit of the contrast and an equal bit of the saturation just to make it look an equal bit prettier. You must be John Marshall. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. I was going to commentate over the um, intro, but I didn't have my headphones plugged in, and that meant the sound was coming out of the TV, which also meant that I couldn't use that, so, you know, it works. You ain't going to find 30 of horses and these in all of New Orleans. I meant ride the horse, not jump. Get. Easy on the spurs now, we don't need to draw undue attention.
Handbrake. Oh my god. Come on. Horse, move. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Handbrake. Just to make it look the colours a bit better. I ain't planning on staying very long. I mean, that's pretty bloody good. You can do a lot worse than armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Brandon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? So yes. And as you may have recalled by the trailer, Christmas is rated M for Merry Mature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the Marshal I had me. Lee Jobs, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some blackwater fig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Boink. <laughs> I have played this game a little bit. Oh, come on. Focus. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing I don't by mean it. nothing by it. Oh, Trust me. Right. There's things you're better off yeah, not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Giddy up. Da -dun, da -dun. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. Friend. You have yourself a good time. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not happening. the apocalypse boys Bill Oh there's a shadow Bill I've come for you Bill Williamson Come out here right now Go away now John Don't make me kill you Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. He gonna die. You only seemed to save yourself. 
Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me? I don't know what that me. means, so, you know. You always were one for fancy so are words. You. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Aww. Implored. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Ooh. Well? <laughs> oh, look, there's a bird. Stolen by somebody. Ooh, we're in the Far Cry Four safe house now. Far Cry Three, save house. Lady. Well, you're alive. Just. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. The cost was $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. So you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time he ago. He was part of the apocalypse, what boys. Was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, oh. Mr. Marston. Quite Thank heroic, you. just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a rant Where to the run. Fuck are you of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. The next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend we don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Okie dokie! Look at that. Train coming! Now we gotta go join Bonnie then, have we? That's that way. Quickly, uh, sorry, I was trying to. Whoa. Jump over the fence! 
Get stuck on a tree. Do a little jig. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living. Yes. Right? Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over right. here. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Oh, sorry, I wasn't. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Oh, come on. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get okay. your bearings. Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah. And here's the crowd. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Yeah. Come on, boys. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Ooh. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like okay. yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Yeah, we jumped over a thing. Tree. Whoa. from me, Miss McFarland. <laughs> I'm pressing X. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. H. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. Sweet. Shut up. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for okay. a while. Thank you. 